What is dyscalculia? Dyscalculia is a term used to describe a range of difficulties with learning math. This can mean struggling to understand numbers and what they mean, as well as how to solve math problems. There are symptoms that can indicate whether someone is affected by dyscalculia. For example, F2 children may have difficulty learning to count, recognizing printed numbers, remembering numbers, or being able to organize them in a logical order. Children in years three to six might have difficulty learning math facts, for example, adding, subtracting, dividing, or multiplying, and also struggle developing maths problem solving skills, measuring things, and remembering math vocabulary terms. Older children and adults might struggle with things like budgeting, estimating costs, for example in the supermarket, doing mental arithmetic and finding different approaches to solving problems. If you'd like to learn more about this, Twinkle has a barriers to learning information on dyscalculia booklet. You can download it from the website, so I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below. Now let's take a look at some strategies to help children with dyscalculia in your classroom. Strategy one is to use concrete apparatus. Counters, blocks, strings of beads, dominoes, planes, playing cards, dice, clock faces, fraction segments. These kinds of materials are physical. They can be moved around, manipulated, grouped together, and used in all kinds of activities to help children understand maths concepts. Taking this approach instead of just relying on verbal or written instruction can help children with dyscalculia better visualize and understand maths concepts by interacting with them in a hands-on way. Two, differentiate instruction as required. It may take children with dyscalculia a little bit more time to do their work, but instead of rushing them, give them the space and the time to work it out and encourage them to focus on one thing at a time before moving on. During examinations, it's sometimes possible for children to get extra time when they need it. So this could be something worth looking into as well. Also, if you're not focusing on mental maths in an activity, let children use a calculator and also make sure they know how to use a calculator. Three, visual aids. For example, charts that show maths facts or the timetables can be really helpful, as well as drawing out diagrams. Having a display like a word wall can also help by exposing children to key terms and vocabulary that they need to use during maths. By being frequently exposed to these words, it may make it more likely for them to stick. Four, encouragement. Having dyscalculia can be frustrating, so making the time to celebrate progress and achievements can really mean a lot to motivating learners. You can also take the time to work with children one-on-one -on -one and monitor progress. Reaching out to other adults who are also involved in a child's learning and helping them better understand the difficulties presented by dyscalculia and the tools that can help is also a nice way to ensure consistency and understanding. If these steps have been useful, you may be interested in checking out more of our dyscalculia resources on the Twinkle website. So I'm gonna leave some helpful links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.